Microsoft Excel for Office 365 users have seven new dynamic array functions that are really fabulous. Let's take a look at one of them today called the Unique Function and I'll cover all seven throughout the rest of this month. These functions came out around September 2018 and only Office 365 insiders may have them now but they'll be rolling out to all Office 365 users soon. This is one of the reasons, to be honest with you, why I don't recommend you purchase Office 2019 because you're not going to have these. So let's take a look at this unique function real quick. Several examples. I have a list of numbers in column E. Notice that some of my numbers in column E repeat. The number 1 does, the number 3 does. I want to find out just the unique numbers. Equals unique. I highlight my range which is E2 to E11. When I press enter, watch this. There are all the unique numbers running down column F. This is really cool. If I select F2, that's where I actually wrote the function. Equals unique. If I go to F3, it is grayed out because it is a dynamic array function. That's one example. But most likely, I just wanted to do numbers to show you that it worked with numbers, but most likely you're going to be dealing with text. So I could, if I wanted to, I could highlight this and copy. I'm going to paste them over an H, and I'm trying to find the unique. I'm on the Data tab up at the top, and we have Data Tools group. Let's do a Remove Duplicates, and I select OK. They're the unique values, except this is not going to update what I just did, remove duplicates. So let's go use the unique function, equals unique. Here's my range. There I go, I got the same answers. I'm going to undo one time. Control T, because I don't want all that. So that's a table. One more time with unique. Select. Add a name. There's the name down in cell B10. Add one more name. There's the name in cell B11. Here we go again. And this is really cool. I'm going to highlight, delete, so it's gone. Assume for some reason that there's information blocking where it needs to fill. I'm going to go to cell B2. I'm going to do unique again. Same steps. Highlight it. Press enter and I hope I get an error message called pound spill or hashtag spill. I call that a pound symbol. People call it a hashtag now. This is really interesting. It's saying, hey, if I come over here and click, there's information blocking where I need to fill down. So what do you want to do? Well, what I don't want to do in this example is ignore it. I could, and this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to select obstructing cells, because maybe I need those. And watch this. I'm going to cut them, control X. Move that one, cut, and I decide I need that one, and it automatically, the unique function automatically spilled down. That's why I had pound spill. Now, I'm going to get a little technical here. I call these unique, but technically they are known as distinct. Um, it, it found Chris twice and only put it in here once. It found Sally and put her over here. She's only in here once, I believe. Those are technically distinct, even though I'm using the unique function. Another cool feature of the unique function is if you want to really find true unique, I'm going to highlight this range, comma, comma, so I did unique, I selected my range, which would be A2 to A15 if I didn't make it a table. 
two commas, and basically what it's saying here is do you only want to find values that show up only once? And the answer is yes. So I'm going to double click. Watch what happens when I do enter now. Sally showed up because Sally in column A, Sally is listed only once. Robert is only listed once. So is Ronald, Charles, David, and Susan. Anyone listed twice will not show up in here. And this is technically unique, even though I always call column B unique. That's known as distinct. So I wrote the headers up there so you can keep up with the difference. What's so cool about unique is maybe those are people, I'm, I'm making this example up, our data says when someone orders from us, they order from us again within the week. Maybe these are people that ordered and for some reason they went a month and haven't ordered, so maybe we need to get on the phone and call them. So anyway, there is your unique. They show up once and only once. So the rule is real simple. If someone's unique, they're also distinct, but if someone's distinct, they may not be unique. Anyway, there are seven total dynamic array functions. These are really cool. I'll cover these throughout the month of January, and I'm probably going to do a webinar on them. Feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you have any questions, let me know. Thank you for your time.